Tonight, Pinellas County leaders now confirming the same blue green algae that we're seeing in Manatee and Sarasota counties has now spread to Treasure Island, Gulfport and Tierra Verde. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck tonight live in Gulfport right now in Syria. County leaders are telling you this is really unusual. Yeah, Paul, they're used to seeing trace amounts of lingia, lingia uh, algae in the water, but nothing like this. And they believe this is because red tide is fueling these nutrients and causing the algae to grow. One whiff and Patricia Walsh knew there must be something amiss outside her town shores condo in Gulfport. It's kind of like a trash heap mo uh, odor. You know, it's kind of like driving through a landfill. These brown floating blobs are blue green algae. When it decays, it smells like rotten eggs. It's disgusting. And the water temperature providing the perfect conditions for this lingbia to thrive on one of the biggest weeks of the year for swimming and boating. Right now, it's, it's you know, not covering areas, but it's we've got pockets. Kelly Levy with Pinellas County's environmental management team says they've been flooded with calls about the algae in the intercoastal and back canals, but they haven't seen any cases at the beach. Swimming in the blue green algae can make you sick, but even without touching it, the algae can make you cough and your eyes water. So we we say, you know, stay clear. Levy suspects we're seeing blue green algae blooms because the blooms are feeding off nutrients left behind by red tide. I think we will. Uh, continue to see these things crop up again as the environment is getting back to a new normal or you know some sense of normalcy it's going to go through some hiccups but rain like this can make a huge difference lowering the water temperature and breaking up the blobs yeah i'd love to see it wash away Now you can help keep these blooms in check. County leaders say picking up grass clippings and pet waste can make a big difference. And if you do spot this algae, they're urging you to contact them so they can come out and test the water. Reporting live in Gulfport, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. All right, Sarah.